on the southeast side of Fort Worth. An old gas station chained up and abandoned is where a 16-year-old boy was found dead. You could tell when he was around, he just wanted to be loved. Mm -hmm. These women never met until today, but they each knew Javaris Jackson. JJ would come over and ask to take out our trash can to, you know, to make money. Um, he was so respectful. He was energetic. For Shea Specs, he was a neighborhood kid on the other side of town in Las Vegas Trail. And for Zari Foster, JJ was her daughter's first love. You could just look at the pictures like, my daughter has never smiled like this. She took these photos in the days before Thanksgiving and says he left their home on Wednesday. And when you need to reach out on Thanksgiving, I knew something wasn't right. She says JJ was supposed to come back for the holiday, but never showed up. <laughs> then police found him on Saturday. He was shot multiple times. When I saw the article about, about the little boy, I felt it in my spirit. I text my sister at 209. I said, sister, you know JJ been missing. And I said, something in my heart is telling me that was him. And I didn't want it to be. It hurts them to think for days he was left for dead. So they sit here to be with Javaris Jackson. He was a kid. He didn't deserve He didn't that. deserve to die and be left behind a building like a pile of trash. In Fort Worth, I'm Tiffany Liu.